Hey guys, welcome back to part number five of our mini airboat twin engine build. We're going to uh, get the deck finished up and uh, the engine stand will get it made. Being a pretty good pain trying to figure out exactly how I want to do it. But uh, I'm sure we're going to get it. Uh, stick around guys, we'll get this thing put together a little bit more. I got, I got my first section of expanded metal cut out fit on my deck. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that welded up. I'm gonna figure out the back side. Gotta pick exactly how big those are. Doors are gonna be. We're gonna get this welded up. We'll be back. All right, guys, we got the uh, front deck, expanded the metal, all tacked down, ready to go. And uh, here we go. Yeah. I was going to do the back side, but I think it's very wise if I wait till I get the hatches in. Instead of trying to go on off the measurements that the internet's going to give me. I sure would have to hate start cutting stuff loose because the measurements are wrong. 
I guess we're going to get back there and start on that, uh, that engine stand. Get the main brackets tacked onto the hat section where we got something to work off of. So, going to give that a little bit more thought than we're going to get on that. I'll be back. All right, guys. We're back here this morning. Uh, doing a little work on uh, on the back for the engine mount and the little brackets. So uh, what we got done so far, as y'all can see from the other yesterday, we got that uh, front deck just about completed. And I got uh, these engine stands, the mounts welded on in place, ready to start fabricating those uh, the legs. Got those two, and I'm gonna have to put a couple more up there towards the front for the for the driver stand. We're making a little headway. I'll stick around, guys. I believe I got it figured out on um, how I want to do the engine stand. Started tacking it together. I think it's gonna work. What I plan on doing for each engine, got some two by two angle, about 316. You know, I'm gonna cap over that with some 316 plate. That's what the engine's gonna bolt to. The side right here, gotta finish getting it all tacked in. And after I get all tacked in, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna put me a gusset right there in that corner and the front corner. Same thing on this side. And then I need to decide on how I'm going to tie in the, the seats, where the seats go tie in on the sand. I think I may end up just going with a piece all the way across, some lag to lag in the front. Then shooting back up towards the front deck. And putting the two seats from one in front of the other. But we're going to get all this finished up. And we're going to probably stick the engines on that dry, dry run and make sure it's going to, going to work out. Hopefully I'm not too far back. Hi guys, what I got going on right here, let's just put the double where the engine's going to mount at. That way when the bolts go through it gives it a little bit more meat for that, uh, that bolt to hold on to that aluminum since that aluminum is kind of soft. Keep it from stretching out and getting loose. We're going to get that tacked in place. And we're going to start working on, on the Seat mount, see how we're going to do that. Well, first, I got to make some gussets to go around these corners for the like that. We're going to get this tacked on. Make some doublets, some gussets. Put that one a little quick. Alright. Uh, I guess I better cut it off and straighten the bag out.
Let's try this again. There we go. Move that. That's all tacked in. Now we're gonna make our gust. Alright guys, we got the top side of our engine stand all finished up. We got our holes laid out for our boat pattern on for the engines. If y'all doing this, take note that the whole pattern on the base of the engine is five millimeter off center. You gotta keep, in, keep that into accommodation for when you need your shaft to be in the exact spot. Well, I'm going to get these holes drilled out with just a uh, little small poly bit for the time being. I need to see if I can find me an 11 millimeter drill bit. There we go. Let all that drill. I guess I need to start working on uh, the seat stands and um, little compartments to hold the, the batteries in. And take this out and finish welding everything. We'll be back.